Hello and welcome to this very final video blog uh, of this wonderful tour of Norway. I'm stood outside a place that used to be called Moshka Cafe. Uh, it's since been shut down and turned into some kind of chocolate restaurant -y type of place. When I first moved to Drama, I spent the first year locked away in my studio. Uh, then I went to make my album, and uh, after I made my album, I needed somewhere to play these new songs. So I came into town and I discovered this place. I came in here and I met the owner, Tom Eric, and we became friends. With Tom Eric, I organized about 15 or 20 shows, which I did uh, mostly in a row, uh, and the atmosphere was just fantastic. You'd get about 30 people in here and as you can see it's a small place you get about 30 kids in here and the atmosphere was just absolutely brilliant you know um, and so I really we did some great shows um, and Tom Eric became a friend of mine and he introduced me to stuff that I hadn't really thought about much before stuff like spirituality and I don't know collective consciousness and he's managed to change the way I think about the world in many ways because I don't know we've been speaking a lot about alternative media and he showed me websites like Project Camelot, Project Avalon, um, Conscious Media Network, TED. Some of you will know what I'm on about, most of you won't. Um, and it's affected my lyrics and uh, just generally the way um, I go about stuff I suppose, just generally the way I think about the world. Um, so Tomorrow has had a big impact on my mindset which is pretty cool. But they've since shut it down and uh, it's quite sad really, end of an era. Spring has come but there's still a little bit of snow on that mountain there. That's, a, that's actually a, a slope right in the middle of town. That's the train station where I get the train every time I go to the airport. Then I'm a pretty place to live. So here I am at Canal Inn and uh, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine. Uh, this is my friend Ronnie Jonsson, uh, who I think you'll like. Uh, he's the first guy in Norway to play me on radio. Um, he was the first guy to review my album and we've since become friends. Uh, he's a cool guy, I think you'll like him. And uh, he's also got a fucking big mouth as well. <laughs> Yes. Hello, I'm working with radio, that's why I use the glasses, because I'm one of the coolest guys in town. Uh, the truth is that I've been having a very nasty cold, so it looks like I've been doing cocaine for the last three years, but I haven't. Uh, and this is how radio works. Everything is... Uh, oh, this is... you see this right here? Yeah. It's like the most corrupted radio station in, in Norway's history, because every time you access in, I'm always playing how long. <laughs> so that's why that's what, he is getting some payment from Tom. <laughs> that's what we want. Well, that's, isn't it? that's the thing, you didn't get payment from Tom. No, I don't get that. payment from <laughs> Okay, well, that's free for me then. Yeah. yeah. That's not fair, man. Very nice. So, what's happening, Ronnie, man? Well, nothing is happening, actually. It's very nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to the second album from Jack Ruby, Ruby Dooby Ding Dong. And I uh, really hope it's going to be better than the first one oh, because that sucked. Yeah, you man. You know, uh, I knew you were going to fucking say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, it was very great. Uh, I think it's, you're, you're a good musician and you deserve a lot more than you have achieved for now. So, yeah. And I'm going to be uh, on tour for the next. Album, yeah. You definitely, man. On the road. On the road. In the bus. In the bus. Yeah. In the back of the bus. Yeah. With the groupies. With, uh, maybe not sure, of course, but maybe somewhere else. Any closing comments before we close here? Uh, that must be that uh, uh, when you're coming out with your second album, yeah. uh, Channel One, this radio station, as David Brent would have said, yeah. uh, it's going to be the first one to play the first single. You agree? Okay. Okay, that's a deal. Deal. Hadura. Hello. Good morning. This is uh, my studio here in Drama, and this is where everything starts. This is where all the bullshit starts. <laughs> um, it's, uh, yeah, I have my own little room where I can just do my own thing. That's my very first guitar. I bought this at Cash Converters for 20 quid. So that's what I've written all my first songs on. And that's the amplifier that I took on the tour, the little amplifier. It's a guitar my dad gave me, which I'm trying to fix up. That's uh, a poster from one of the shows. 
and like a complete wanker I put it up in my room <laughs> this is the piano that I write all my songs on and uh, it's quite interesting because it's a half a tone down I couldn't get it tuned up to the uh, normal 440 tuning so when I'm playing C here I'm actually playing B on a normal piano and that's uh, the main reason why a lot of the songs I write are in strange keys <laughs> there's my little Beatles cards um, that's a drawing that my brother did or an etching that my brother did that's the computer that I do all my demos on that's what I demoed Heart and Mind on a uh, little Mac G4 and uh, yeah that's my little I've always wanted an old radio so uh, I picked this up and uh, apparently this is from the 50s and the reason why is because it only has four digits in the telephone number on the back there's a telephone number for the shop and it only has four digits in the number these are the books I'm reading at the moment this one's great. These are my books. I like to read. <laughs> and uh, this is 50,000 leaflets that's uh, Humac, the Apple Mac shop in uh, Norway have sponsored, uh, which I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get 50,000 leaflets out. But uh, when I picked them up, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> that's a lot of boxes. Here is, um, Here's all the newspapers that I've been in with this tour. That's uh, all the all the newspapers that I've been with the tour, and that was one of the first ones we had. This is interesting. This is um, an album that my father made in the 80s. And he gave me a copy, he gave me this copy uh, when I was a very, very young boy. I couldn't have been more than 11 or 12, I can't remember exactly now. But he gave me this and it's got stuff like smoke. It's it's an original copy and he, he only has a few of them left now. It's got stuff like smoke gets in your eyes and New York, New York. It's really cool. I just don't have a cassette player but obviously I keep onto it because it's an original. And this is this is artwork by my brother. Uh, this is a postcard that my brother has made it's for my birthday and uh, my brother's going to do the artwork for the next album because he's quickly becoming an incredible artist he's actually studying at the Royal College of Art at the moment so this is where I am, this is where everything starts and uh, that's the little mixing desk that I use with the monitors so that's where it all happens I'm in the Drummond Library uh, I've done a deal with the uh, bosses here at the library. They're going to let me use this piano uh, for four hours a night between four and nine o'clock. Uh, for the next couple of weeks they're going to let me use this piano so that I can write some songs on it in this room here. I've done it! I've done it! 49 shows! I didn't fuck up anywhere! I was on time for everything! Woohoo! <laughs> so I really hope that you've enjoyed these videos that I've made. Um, that's it now, I've done. I've done the 49, 50 shows, wherever it was. And uh, I've finished. And it feels bloody great, because now I can concentrate on the next album. That's what I'm doing. But I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful tour of all these places I've been to in Norway and it's been a great experience I have to say. And uh, see you on the next tour. <laughs>